I'm Mike and Dana. That crowd marched downtown this afternoon for the National Day of Action for abortion and full reproductive rights. You know we've got to find a way. Hundreds of people representing dozens of organizations advocating abortion and reproductive rights filled Federal Plaza where speeches kicked off around noon. Good afternoon, freedom fighters for abortion rights. While abortion in Illinois remains legal, about a dozen other states have banned the medical procedure since Roe versus Wade was overturned in June. On Friday, an Ohio judge ruled that a law that bans virtually all abortions in Ohio will remain blocked while a state constitutional challenge continues. Abortion is common. One in four people who get pregnant have an abortion. Today's crowd. <laughs> gathered and marched in solidarity, defending and hoping their voices will push lawmakers to expand access to safe and legal abortions nationwide. Hundreds of thousands of people throughout the country live in states with total or near total abortion bans. They are vulnerable. Dr. Allison Cowett, medical director for Family Planning Associates, says since the Supreme Court's decision, her medical facility has expanded to meet the needs of people coming from other states for an abortion. We have doubled our phone lines, hired new doctors, new nurses, new schedulers. Ralliers believe the high court's decision opens up the door for other groups to also lose certain protection under the law. This includes laws targeting trans youth and their families. As these activists march, they hope each step forward brings them closer to reproductive justice for all. Now, organizers for today's march say they do plan to mobilize again when the U.S. Supreme Court hears oral arguments on LGBTQ cases and again when the anti-abortion March for Life comes to town. Reporting live near the Mag Mile, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.